So a long time ago I installed this 12 volt receptacle here. This is right right below the sink. And bought one of these little voltmeters so I can see where the battery bank is. Well, when I bought it there was only one battery in here. Now there's a battery bank of four batteries. So that's nice to have and I'll have to make a wiring diagram to show you really what's going on but basically under the front little cubby in here you've got the Magnum Energy 1000 watt MMS 1012 inverter that is also has a built-in PFC charger and then you've got the Midnight Solar 200 charge controller there and that is uh, all wired in to the battery bank sorry um, and that's uh, you can see the wires going through the front of the camper there and they're um, with the silicone around them to seal the gap and then that's wired into uh, the 12 volt DC these batteries are wired to the 12 volt DC and then this inverter just has two plugs coming off it one's an AC in one's an AC out and that um, I plugged the camper into basically so it's like plugging into shore power but I'm plugging basically plugging the camper into itself so and then if you come out here okay so out front you see the battery bank in the toolbox here that's mounted to the front tongue of the RV and then you can see the wiring that comes through from the camper I'm not going for looks here obviously I'm going for I'm, I'm more of a functionality over form guy and functionally everything's working great and uh, there's a 150 amp breaker there I have another 80 amp breaker identical breaker coming should be here any day now um, to put between the charge controller and the battery bank right now I just have the charge controller hooked up to this 150 amp uh, just to kind of get things going and uh, the charge controller has network capability so I'm able to log in and uh, scope out the details of my battery bank I can even see a report history at my midnight com or something like that um, so it, it, it reaches out to the server and reports every five minutes um, so I've got a running report of my battery bank status and charge and all that kind of info up there which you can access from anywhere so um, so uh, this is this is okay for now uh, having the charge controller hooked up to that 150 amp breaker but uh, once the solar panels are hooked up and it's starting to push amperage, I'm definitely going to want that 80 amp uh, in place before that is all wired in. Uh, right now it's not pushing any amperage because it's not receiving any. So it's, it's, it's fine uh, for this. Could have wired it straight to the battery even and it probably wouldn't hurt anything. But I don't know. Don't take my word for it. Ask a professional. <laughs> so this is, uh, that's the setup so far. So now we just need to wire in uh, the solar panels and to the charge controller and we'll be all set. So we'll do another update when that's done.